Adoption is the better choice when you make the decision to have children instead of giving birth to your own child. While the practice of adoption has been around for millennia, the recent history of adoption in the United States can be tracked to the 1850s with the passage of the first modern adoption law in Massachusetts. While the practice of adoption has been around for 200 years um, in the U.S., the stereotypes and biased opinions of adoption have far outgrown that number. Many Americans continue to believe that adopting could not be the real family that you want. Many Americans still believe that the only way to have a real family is to have children naturally through pregnancy and childbirth. This could not be further from the truth. Adoption has many faucets and touches uh, people in different ways, depending on the role and perspective. Adoption is a lifelong process for everyone involved, with significant emotional and legal impacts. Adoption has evolved in many, way, many ways over the years, making it more and more acceptable in society. Today, rather than it being a dark family secret, adopted children celebrate their adoption story. They grow up knowing uh, how special adoption is and what a beautiful gift they were given by their birth, from their birth parents. While they may have questions about their birth parents and where they came from, they grow up knowing that adoption is a very loving decision and is one to be proud of. As with every individual family, some unique uh, issues come, may come into play with adopting a child. The classic seven core issues in adoption, published in the early 1980s, outlined seven lifelong issues experienced by all members of the adoption uh, of the adoption community. Loss, rejection, guilt, shame, grief, identity, intimacy, and control. The absence and the biological or the absence of the biological ties to um, either parent inevitably creates themes and relationships that will emerge in ways uh, and in many different ways, including um, abuse, lack of security, and attachment of parent. However, many of these issues go away on their own as soon as a child is given a loving home and a family to, lo to live with. The foundation of most emotional issues is, uh, is just having someone there to lean on. And with someone uh, new to provide that position, and uh, any other issues um, become much easier to work through. Adoption is a process in which children become full and permanent legal members of another family. Determining eligibility to adopt is based on a process of mutual assessment and preparation by the prospective adoptive parents and social worker or agency, called a home study. Most people are eligible to adopt regardless of marital status, age, um, income, or sexual orientation. Having a disability does not automatically disqualify a prospective adoptive parent. Some foreign countries may have specific requirements and restrictions for families who want to adopt from those countries. All states, the District of Columbia, Guam, Northern Marina Islands, Puerto Rico, and Puerto Rico have statutes or regulations requiring background investigations or prospective foster and background uh, investigations, um, including a check of federal and state criminal records. Most states also require checks of child abuse and neglect uh, registries. Learning about the developmental stages of children and what can be expected in each stage is important to new parents. When your child has been adopted, there are additional considerations. Some of these issues will be um, obvious in the stages of development. Others surface at specific times. The more thoroughly you can understand how your child behaves and why, the more likely it is that you can be supportive and help your child grow up with reality, um, self, um, with a healthy self-esteem, and the knowledge that they, um, with, and the knowledge that they're about. It is very common for adopted children to wonder about the beginning of, uh, to wonder about their adoption story. Although adopted children today um, grow up knowing that they were adopted, it's a natural part of growing up to wonder um, about their birth parents. Some adopted children may want to know why they're close to adoption or why their birth parents didn't want them. Although these are difficult questions for any adopted parents to hear, it is also common for adopted children to experience a range of emotions surrounding their adoption story. Families considering transracial adoption should also uh, should also note that adopting a child of a different race comes with their own new considerations. Family adopting, families adopting a child of a different of different race should be prepared to their adopted child to, to inform their adopted child about their culture. As a child grows, adoptive parents must be prepared to answer questions 
um, but any, any questions that their child may have on um, their own ethnic and cultural identity. When people think about adoption, they envision an opposed adoption in which, uh, placement, in which placement of the child is only to one set of parents and not to their parents. However, in the early 1980s, adoptions, adoption began to shift toward a more openness. Today, some people, um, today some people believe closed adoptions to be safer, mainly because they believe that um, birth parents may try and bring, may try and come back to get their to get their child, as we've seen in movies and media. This is this normally does not happen. However, many there are many closed adoptions still today. Another option, another form of adoption is semi-open adoption, where the birth parents still have some contact with the child through emails and pictures, but um, they rarely see the child face to face. An open adoption is where the birth parents um, regularly see the child either through, uh, either, either through uh, face to face visits or uh, emails and phone calls. Um, pictures uh, of the birth, pictures of the child are often sent to the birth parents after the uh, child has been safely adopted, and in the closed adoption, that is the only contact they have with the child for the rest of their life. In 2010, there were 11,058 adoptions, in which children were brought to the U.S. from another country. 61 adoptions took place in Idaho. Although there are, um, although there are a whole new set of rules um, to adopting and taking care of children. Taking care of them um, is just as rewarding as having your own child, particularly international adoptions, as well as US adoptions. There's nothing more rewarding than knowing that you help the child come out of poverty or come out of uh, any hardships that they're facing and helping them to lead a better life with better opportunities. Reward an innocent child and reward yourself.